All right, folks, welcome back to Asher RV. Um, this is our first solar panel install at Sewell Motor Coach. Uh, so I wanted to record it on video. This is a pretty easy process, really. Uh, we, ended up land we ended up doing three panels at 180 watts each, which will be around 540, which should be plenty enough to charge these, uh, these Battleborn 200 amp hour batteries. Uh, stick with us if you wanna see how it's done and a quick explanation at the end of why we did what we did and how we landed on how many panels and the wiring and all of that and the layout of course so stick with us thanks for watching again uh like and subscribe if you if you like you know this kind of content i've got all kinds of other stuff coming coming your way so this 2021 auto uh, integra odyssey came in uh doug bought it actually with this Victron Energy 2000 watt um, inverter. The triple shutoff's already ready for solar. It's got the battery management as well as a 150 MPPT. So we uh, we figured we needed to go ahead and add. I did a little research and it can have up to 650 amps of solar. Up to 650 watts of solar. So we decided on three 180 watt panels due to the factory wiring so uh, i'll include you on the next step we've got the solar panels installed so let's get to the install so we chose to go with the uh, valve valve rv on everything on this just to keep it with one manufacturer so this is a three Three to one for the uh, positive and negative MC4 terminal. Got several. Uh, got several of the positive and negative two to one. Got four panels worth of Z brackets, also the same brand. And I got one 10 foot extension cord with crimp on end. I believe they're 10 gauge. Sorry, 12 gauge, 10 foot. So after opening all the wiring and all the connectors, I figured we better go ahead and open all the solar panels and assemble the Z brackets on the bottom of the solar panel itself. No, we're not really this fast. I went on and sped it up because it's way too long of a video. But they do package their products very well. I did get all these products from Amazon. I will um, attach a list. And maybe I'll have a Amazon shopping cart for you prepared by the time I post this video. As you can see, there are MC4 pigtails on the back, roughly about three feet long. The Z brackets, you'll see that they have a slotted hole. And you'll use the supplied bolts. You'll put a flat washer on the head of the bolt, stick it up through use a lock washer on top of the bracket itself with a nut it took a 10 millimeter wrench and socket to tighten this up we definitely cheated to use the snap-on impact to snug them up where we wanted them you can adjust them however you like uh, the next thing we're going to cheat a little bit up top when we mount them we're going to put mastic over the holes you'll see me do it later on but I'll go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and put all three panels together. That way, ready to go, we're going to take them to the roof next and place them. This can be a one man job, definitely easier with two people. It just flows much faster. As you can see, I'm trying to peel about four inch piece long pieces of mastic and I'm putting it under each of the feet of the Z brackets. To cover when I when we do pierce through with the screw, the rest will be sealed off and it'll help adhere to the roof. 
and we're going to cover this with die core the, the layout we chose was the one in the front and two in the back in case you do have to service the air conditioner later on as you can see with this extension cord um, it only came with one end put on it it may take a few minutes of looking to figure out what what to do the orientation uh, we just used our our wire strippers and stripped back a little bit of the insulation and crimped it small enough to where it fit right now the wires are just ran loosely to try and get an idea how they need to lay we ran them under the panels and i'm going to put a little bit of mastic underneath each set of wires that way it'll kind of hold it in place when you peel the backing off the mastic make sure the panel is sitting where you want it to sit because once it adheres to that roof it is extremely hard to get off you can hear it so you know sticking to the roof and i'm having to pick up on it to get it to to move where i want it to so the z brackets that i bought from balge rv came with all the hardware you need they are like a self-tapping 5 16 head about one inch long um, screw to go through the z bracket through the roof itself we're just screwing it into the fiberglass. It seems to bite pretty well. Uh, it takes a whole lot of reinforce to get this off of the roof. As you can see, there are two screws per bracket. So that's eight screws total. This bracket, this panel probably weighs 35, 40 pounds. So it'd be ample amount of clamping force to hold it down. Be sure not to over tighten. They're so easy to strip out. Um, just give it one or two clicks with the impact once it's tight, and that should be ample clamping force. Much tighter there. Now I went on and folded the excess um, plastic up and over the screw heads and then we're going to come back, you'll see Joe with die core, seal the whole area. We do not want to leak on this roof at all. So the more you do, the better. Now we're going to move on to mounting the other two panels. Same procedure, just roll on through it. Like I said, you'll see Joe with the self-leveling die core. He chose white for this unit. Uh, probably use a two, two and a half on the three panels. So I'd get two just to be safe. Seal it heavy, be generous with it. There's no reason not to put plenty. We're gonna put die core on the wires themselves also to hold them in place after I put them where I wanted them with the mastic. This should hold the wires securely in the future. So this was the layout that we landed on. Here's the Z brackets into the roof. 180 watt panel on the front, two 180 watt panels on the rear. MC4 connectors. We use lap sealant to seal all the screws and uh, hold the wires down themselves. We use a three-way splitter on each side connected to the factory pass-through. So uh, our solar install went pretty good, pretty smooth overall. Uh, I think just about anybody could do it as long as you can get the panels on the roof yourself. Um, I chose to go with Balge RV because they had a good selection of material. They had good uh, good reviews on Amazon. They had all of the cords and all. Allegedly, it says it's all copper on the wiring, so I figured that's got to be a little bit better than you know cheap Chinese aluminum core. 
So we're going to see how it goes. Uh, total, it's 540 watts max. That should be plenty enough to recharge the 200 amp hour. Uh, there's two 200 amp hour Battleborn lithium batteries. It's not going to do it super fast, but it will, I believe it'll maintain. Uh, this unit will run the air conditioner with just the inverter only. It just doesn't last very long. Uh, maybe, I think, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, something like that. Not even on a soft start. It started up, you know, without a soft start being installed. I chose three panels instead of four like I had initially planned uh, because the pass-through, the factory pass-through is only rated for 30 amps and if your three panels are at max output they're going to be doing 10 amps each which is 30 amps so four would be 40 and I did not want to go to a series setup to where you know each of these panels were like 18 volts if you did a series it would make for less amperage which would be smart um, but we would have had to custom make all of our connections so I chose just to keep it simple with factory bot connections except for the extension cord um, which is simple enough to put together but thanks for the view folks if you have any questions or concerns let me know this is our first solar that we've installed uh, I think we did everything right everything seems solid everything seems connected well if you uh, if you have any questions for me just leave me a comment uh, thanks for watching subscribe for I've got all kinds of more content coming. We've got a windshield install in a unit that uh, the actual bottom of the, uh, the windshield mount on a Winnebago was completely rotted out. I've got that video just about done. So thanks again. Appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe again. Appreciate you all.